Okay, I'm about to make another one. Uh, in the beginning, the world was, was, was dark and watery, and God made light. When he made light, we were able to see the colors. So we're going to assume that we've already, uh, we already have light. But on the second day of creation, God made land. He didn't make trees. He didn't make flowers. He just made land. So on the second day, there was water and land and light. And I presume there was still some darkness. So let's look at those colors. Yellow is the lightest color. I'm going to start with that. Green is a mixture of yellow and blue, so it's going to come second because it has yellow in it. Blue does not have yellow in it, supposedly. We're going to say that. And the last color I'm going to use is black. So I'm going to make a representation of that. I'm going to make a design about that. All right, I'm going to start out again with yellow. Well, I'm going to make light right there. That's my light coming in there. And then I'm going to create wateriness. Don't even think about it. You know what? This is this is this is uh, messing me up thinking about what I'm going to do. Don't even think about it. Just draw. Because that's what this, th this is a design course. It's not a thinking about what you're doing. It's not, you don't have to justify your design. Okay, but I am going to use these colors. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make a big yellow swath coming across there. And I'm going to call that light. So there's light. Now, I'm going to color that first. If you didn't want yellow in your design, you would skip it. Uh, I still draw my designs with yellow, and it, sometimes it's a problem. I'm gonna be, I don't usually draw my designs with pencil because I don't like the pencil marks to show. I just like, and besides that, I don't want you to worry about it. I just want you to start going across there and drawing and making, making this joyful mark across the paper. Make a joyful mark. Okay, there's my light. Well, I need to repeat my light up here somewhere. So I will. I will. Uh, let me look at and see where I need to put that light. I'm going to put it there. Do you see that? There. And I'm going to repeat it there. And I'm going to repeat it there. And there. I'm getting it smaller and smaller. That's a series of circles. So there we have it. And then I'm going to put the light down here. Now, do you see that my light has moved across the page? Well, now we're going to make green because that's the next color I didn't put yellow orange and I didn't put red I skipped those and on if you look at the colors the next darker color would be green so if you whatever color you don't want to use you just skip and you go on to the next one And, and, and what I know what you're feeling. You're feeling, oh, I can't make those great big marks going all the way across that two-inch piece of paper. You can. Do it. Make those marks. Go. Move. Move across the paper. Be free. So there we have it. I made the green. If 
you were a Girl Scout, I was a Girl Scout. That was cool back when I was a girl. It may not be cool anymore. I don't know. But I was, and I loved it. But Girl Scout colors are green and yellow. Christmas colors are green and red. Red and pink in, are red and white are Valentine colors. Red, white, and blue are Fourth of July colors. Halloween colors are black and orange. We have colors, we associate colors with different holidays and different ideas. Black is wicked, evil, or sadness for in the American culture. In the American culture. In different cultures, different colors have different meanings. Okay, now then, I've made that green come swathed along there. Now I'm going to put, I'm going to enlarge this yellow right here. And I'm going to put, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to put this, I'm going to make that green. Because I'm actually what I'm trying to do is to repeat the colors. Because I know that when I repeat the colors, so where do I need another repeat? Right here. You're right. Because there's nothing there yet, I can repeat. Well, now my colors need to be repeated somewhere else. Where? You're right. Right there. Okay, now. Now I'm going to put blue. Now I'm going to go around all of this with my blue. I've, I always outline these little circles first, and then I color them. said this yesterday on a video. The Impressionist painters, who painted a long time ago, did not use black in their paints. Before that, the painters did use black. They used black to mix things to make them seem darker in places, shading. Well, the black, the Impressionists quit using black. and But I think it was Renoir don't quote me on this because I don't know for sure, who said black is the queen of colors. Although he did not mix his color with black, black next to other colors brings those colors out. And I'm going to show you that in just a minute. None, none of these colors have black in them. They're, they're pure. They're, they're not shades. They're, they're just pure colors. Yellow, green, and blue. Now then, because, I'll tell you what I could do, 
See how it kind of needs me to go down that? I need to come down here with blue. I've already done it, but guess what? I can go right over it because blue is darker than green. I can go right over that next back, and it's not going to be exact. It's going to kind of make a dark green. I don't want to put it over the yellow. I'm going to go over the green with it and make kind of a dark green. But it brings that color down. A little bit gives that color idea down but now I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do now the last color I'm going to use is black and you're going to see what happens when I come in with black black is the queen of colors Now, I'm not telling you you have to use black in your designs because you don't have to. But it, I like to use, I, I like to use black. For one thing, I like black and white. I like black and white designs a lot. Okay, I probably could have colored that a little bit better. But that's my second design. And look how, I'm going to show you the power of color, which is a manifestation of the power of light. Those two designs feel completely different. That's hotter. That's cooler. That's more active and fidgety. This is calmer. Color is very important. And it would not be, it would not happen without light. So this is the second day. God separated. He made dry land. And he separated the, the waters from each other. He made a, he made a, a break in the water. Uh, in, in the old Bible, the King James it says a firmament. And I can't remember what it says in the NIV Bible. But, but there, he created this platform are, are a way to divide the waters and he made lot dry land to fill still not a tree do you see a tree there's not a tree there there is not a flower there's not a person there's not even an ant there's not even a sun and a moon god didn't create those this is the second day is over and all he has made is land it's all he's added. I mean, let me just say that. It's all he's added. He made light on the first day, but now he's made land. <laughs>